K. Pork chops for dinner. Oinksy doodles from 329.17. These have been food savored in the freezer. Tonight we're gonna eat them. So these are just basically little mini pork chops. Not that little. They're nice. Uh, they're fat. They're fat ones. Yeah, they're, they're nice. They're nice pork. Nice portions. Thanks, woman. And we're gonna have string beans, which I'm gonna steam. So I'm gonna do something really weird with this. I mean, people are gonna think it's weird, but I don't think it's that weird. So when most people have pork chops, uh, they think uh, like applesauce, which is all right. But I think applesauce is a novice move with pork chops. I prefer personally orange marmalade. That is the bomb diggity. However, Jesus. however, tonight, well, because we're on this sort of sort of diet, trying to cut the sugar or the added sugar. Let's put it that way. Orange marmalade. The first ingredient in orange marmalade is. Let's see that. High fructose corn syrup. Is high fructose corn syrup followed by corn syrup followed by orange peel. So it's basically straight up sugar. So I have this jar of, where is it? There it is. This jar of, well, from our local farm, not local, but we go apple picking. Juice sweetened whole blueberry fruit spread. And according to this, it's got white grape juice concentrate, which probably has sugar, but I don't know if it's got added sugar, and I won't know that. Pectin and citric acid. Oh, it's also made from, from blueberries. So. This doesn't have any added sugar, even though it's sweet as shit. Let me see. Mm. Our 30 days are up, mm. so we're not going to go too crazy. Yeah, it's so good and sweet. What I'm going to do is, we're going to get a paper towel, number one. Dry these off. I'm going to glaze them with the blueberry preserves and see how it comes. I don't see how it will be bad. It should be really good. Hun, I'm going to need you to... um oil over here. Oh, yeah, this pan on. So we're going to pan sear them, then we're going to finish them in the oven, and I'm going to steam the string beans and basically throw the string beans into the pan with them to finish cooking in the oven. So the string beans actually should only take... How long is it? Do you have to, you have to pierce holes in this? Yeah, poke it with the pork. Uh, we'll do that in a second. So let's get the pa pork chops in the in the pan first. Hun, come here and just my hands are full of pork. I'm going to, um, here, grab the oil, oil them up a bit, and we'll just salt and pepper it. Put a dab on both of them. For more than a dab. But perfect. Good. so much better Good. at this. Good. Mm. Oh, I can come back again. Dab the when other side. I asked you to do the pizza thing. Dab the other side. That's what I mean. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, so dab can. that. Go ahead. Good. And the other one. Perfect. Grab the salt, kosher, and the black pepper. Oh, God, this I suck at. Just sprinkle it on. You can handle this. That's beautiful. A little heavier on the salt, actually. We're gonna do both sides. Yep, go. Perfect. Perfect. Great. Stop. Top of the side. Go. So what we're gonna do is season them up, give them a quick pan sear, and then finish in the oven nice and nice and easy, so you don't dry them out. Great. Black pepper. Hurry, honey. Hurry. Whoa. You know me in black Not pepper. Not too much black pepper. There we go. That's good. Great. Looks good. Perfect. Uh, good. Good. Okay, bye. Great. Uh, I think that's all the seasoning we need to put. We'll just grab the edges there. Good, good, good. Pan hot. Give the pan another second. Let's, uh... Yeah, I think... Ow. Ow. We're almost there. Want it to be. Want to get a nice sear on it. So sop this up. Yeah. So we'll sear them. I don't know. Maybe uh, two minutes on each side, and then we'll put them right in the oven at 375 to finish cooking. And let's throw the string beans in there. Once it goes in the oven, we'll top it with a little of the blueberry preserves, and it'll should glaze down, caramelize a little bit. Or so I think. This is a total freaking mystery to me. Uh, yep. Fingers are sizzling. We're good to go. Here we go. Pansier. Beautiful. Hun, start a timer counting up, please. Mm. Washing the hands. Pork chops everywhere. Bye. So these pork chops were frozen once. So, uh, there's no real, killed any possibility of trigonosis. So I don't have to worry about cooking these to 160 degrees. So, that's good. 65 degrees actually. So we're gonna cook these to 145. Nice and rare. 
Well, medium rare. Well, not medium rare. It's just cooked. It'll be just cooked. Put this here. Let's grab the pork chops. No, oh, actually, this is all. Should I get a chop? I have to um pierce the bag. Yeah, I usually just stab it with the fork, like three yeah. times okay. in various spots. Looks good. All right, don't do that at home. I will steam those for how much? Do you normally do three minutes? Yeah. We'll steam for three minutes because we're gonna finish them in there. Well, I usually do it that way when you're gonna put them in the pan. Yeah, well, these are going to end up in the oven for a little bit. Plus, I like them a little on the crisper side. So do I. Keep that clean. Uh, I'll need this. This should be a pretty quick recipe. Well, it's not really a recipe. I'm just trying something new. Um, yeah, me too. You know what? Let's get the clarified. We'll put some clarified butter over the string beans when we throw it in. That'll make a nice... Yeah, let me get that. The clarified butter. Come to me. There we go. Mmm. Smells weird. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Weird. We're almost at two minutes of sear on this. We got this on high. We need, what do we need? We need the probe thermometer. Soon. Awesome. Power on. Power up. Nice. Alright. We have reached the two minute stage on our sear here. These releasing. Yes, they are. Beautiful. Oh, looking beautiful. Alright, we'll move these to a new spot. Great. Another two minutes of searing. Nice. So you got nice color on here. If these are thinner, we can totally finish them in the pan, but. You don't want to like kill them like that. So we're gonna, I think we'll add, actually when this comes off, at a minute and a half, well rather two and a, three and a half minutes total, we'll shut the heat off. And we will, uh, cause we're gonna leave them on that side. And we'll top them with a dollop of, give me a spoon for the butter. Thanks. Wait, that's great. We'll throw a little butter in the bottom of the pan along with a little olive oil for the uh, string beans to go in with it. Mm. Yes, we're moving along. All right. Drop a little olive oil there and butter. 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 No, I'm just uh, talking to myself. Mm. Kill the heat. Good. Then we're gonna put a little dollop of butter on top. That'll melt down. Let that melt down. Grab this. It's hot. Ow. Hot. Yes, the answer to that is yes, it is hot. There we go. Um, that was too long. Alright, no big deal. We're gonna dump those in the pan. Watch out for splatter. Beautiful. I'm going to turn these around on the, on the butter and oil. Awesome. We'll take it and do a little... Salt and pepper. Awesome. Now we're left with, okay, I know I'm mixing like sort of rawish meat with the vegetables, but it's all going in the oven, so it should be fine. Great, great. This is all melted down. Oh, the other side looks nice. We'll put these again. All right, great. 
Uh, note to self, two minutes would have been plenty in the microwave for the uh, string beans. Okay, I'm gonna take this. Pop this. Be gentle. Actually, let's take a temperature in here because if it's really far away, I'm not gonna put the, that on yet. I don't want it to like burn. Can you just ask a quick question? Is this normal? Yeah, it's normal. Hold on a second. Let's see what we're at on this. We're only 80 degrees. Yeah, no, we're not ready yet. All right. Once this gets to maybe uh, when this reaches 120, I'll top it with the uh, yeah, I'll top it with the string with the which call it with the uh, blueberry preserve. So we'll come back when this hits 120. See you in a bit. All right, we got 125 degrees in here. That's about 20 away from where I want to be, which is perfect. We'll take this out. It's all coming along nicely. Pop that here. I'm gonna flip these again. Ah, uh, yes. Looking delicious. I'm gonna top with a little bit of this blueberry preserve. Hope this is good. I can't. I'm gonna can't reiterate enough. But I hope this is good. It might be gross, but then again, maybe not. Live and, learn. Live and learn. I don't see how it could be bad. It's just sweet. Again, because if you put applesauce on, why not any other fruit? Which again, mar orange marmalade is really good. This is kind of a very generous portion. Ow, this is hot. Stop confusing me when I'm doing shit. Okay, get the thermometer back in there. I'll put it into the other one to see what it's reading at. 129 already, 131. All right. I'm just going to quickly take a temperature on the the one we were in before. 28. Just a. This one's cooked faster. All right, so they'll be done at different times. That's fine. All right. All right. Into the oven. Great. I'll let that go to about 140. Eight. And then we'll check the other one too at the same time, which might need a little more time. All right, we'll be back uh, when things start beeping. I'll be back. When, when they're both done, we'll be back. See ya. Okay, everything started beeping, and uh, they're done. So you have it. Pork chops with a blueberry glaze, I guess you want to call it, and some string beans, which are totally overcooked, but no, I lied. They're not overcooked, but mm. all right. They're not ready to cut yet because they have to sit, but I'll come back with the one more time just to get a cross section on that. All right, see you in a second. Five minutes have passed. We're ready to cut. I'm ready to eat. Just going to give it a whole little once in the middle just to get a, a sense of how well we cooked this. Oh yeah, we're looking good. Let's cut a piece for. I'm cutting it open and trying it. Mm, let's see. Mm. Oh, that is Jay approved right there. Mm. Oh, it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, I hope so. Do you think the will improve? Yeah, it's great. Whose idea was this, by the way? Mine. No. I like to put the, which I'm gonna call it on the top of the thing. You Check out G Cook Consortium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cook links. Support us on Patreon. Subscribe to our YouTube. More great videos. Try them, chew them, but it's just like good. All right. See you next time for something. Go night.